Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about performing a PMKID clientless wireless attack using BetterCap. PMKID stands for Pairwise Master Key Identifier. There are two downsides to a deauthentication attack. The first being, if you don't have any clients, then you got nothing to attack. The second one is having to wait for a client to join the network so that you can attempt to capture the four-way handshake. And so the biggest difference using a PMKID attack as opposed to a traditional attack is that we don't need to wait for a client to establish that four-way handshake. In our previous labs we've used the Airgeddon suite or the framework for attacking networks. Now this is an excellent suite of tools but the problem is, each time we want to start a tool in Airgeddon, we have to stop the tool we're using, come out of it, and start the next tool. That's the difference between Airgeddon and BetterCap. BetterCap uses modularity, which means that we can launch one module, leave that module running, and we can start another module without having to exit the program. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install the hex tools. So I've typed in app space install hex tools. Now hex is spelled H C X and tools is T O O L S. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now, I've already installed this program so it's already exists. So make sure that you've got this so that when you get to the part to where you need to use hashcat you're going to have the tool already available. So the first thing we need to do is place our wireless adapter into monitor mode. Now to do this, I'm going to go ahead and use airmon-ng space start, the name of my wireless adapter. Now if you don't know the name of your wireless adapter, just type in iwconfig at the terminal prompt and you can find the name for your wireless adapter the same way I did. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And in just a moment, it's going to go ahead and initiate a monitor mode for my wireless adapter. Now, notice that the name of my wireless adapter has changed to WLAN0MON. Now, your wireless adapter will also change its name when it is enabled in monitor mode. So make sure that you note the difference. Now, this next command is just going to start the program. It's not the interface we're going to be using, but we're going to use our Ethernet Zero interface to launch BetterCap. So I've typed in sudo space better cap space dash I F A C E for interface space the name of the interface. In this case, it's Ethernet Zero. Go ahead and hit enter. And now my better cap program has started. If you would like to see all the different modules that better cap has to offer, just type in help at the prompt and hit enter. Now notice that my Wi-Fi module is not currently running. That's the next thing we're going to have to fix. So the module that we're currently interested in is going to be the Wi-Fi module. Now each module comes with its own set of commands. And to see what commands are available with the Wi-Fi module, I'm just going to type in the word help, followed by the name of the module. In this case, it's Wi-Fi. Hit enter. And these are all the commands. Now the command that I'm interested in is the Wi-Fi interface command. This is the command that I'm going to establish or set for the monitoring of all the wireless networks in my area. So to set the Wi-Fi interface that I have named WLAN0MON to be used with BetterCap, I have to set that interface as the preferred interface and not Ethernet 0. And that's what we're doing here. We're swapping out the adapters. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back to the prompt, let me know that that command completed successfully. And so the next thing we want to do is start scanning for the wireless networks within our area. To do this, I've typed in Wi-Fi, period, recon, space, on. Hit enter. And now to see all of the different wireless networks that are within the range of my wireless network, we're going to do a Wi-Fi, period, show. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it brings it up in a nice table format. Now you'll see that I only have two clients that are currently connected to one of my wireless networks. 
and the rest of them have no clients that have been identified. Now normally that would be a concern if I was trying to use Ergeddon, but we're not. We're going to try to use this better cap performing a BMKID attack, which does not require that I have a client attached to the network. Let's see how we do that. For this particular attack, a new command was added into the ability of BetterCap called Wi-Fi dot association. And this is the command that we're going to be using to establish an association with the access point so that we can capture that WPA2 data which contains that field for the PMKID information that we so badly need to be able to gather that passphrase. And now that we have identified the networks that are currently within range of our wireless network, we have a choice of either attacking a single access point or attacking all of them. Now the next step of this attack is to associate with these access points using BetterCap. Now we can do this all at once attacking all the networks or we can attack a single network using the Wi-Fi dot association command. I'm going to go ahead and attack all the networks so that we can see some decent results. So the command I've typed in is Wi-Fi dot ASSOC for association space the word all. Now once I have the command typed in I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to attempt to associate with these different access points. And so in this example, you see that we have established an association with one of my wireless networks called Sky Fiber Echo Delta 1.6. And this association captured the PMKID data from the W2PK handshake that was established, and it was saved to a file called handshake.pcap. Now that PCAP file contains the information that we need for the passphrase, for this wireless access point. But before we can get it, we're going to have to convert that PCAP to a hashcat file. And now let's see how we do that. So we're going to leave our PCAP running and we're going to go over here and we're going to go to File and we're going to go to New Window to open up a new terminal. So to make this process as painless as possible, I'm going to go ahead and save any files that I create to the desktop. Now to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and change the directory. So I'm going to go ahead and type in CD space desktop and hit enter. Notice that my prompt changes to let me know that I am now inside of the desktop directory. Now the next thing we have to do is use our hex tools to convert that PCAP file into a PMKID file. Now to do this, I've typed in the following command at my prompt and I've told hex tools to convert the file and save it to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And once the conversion takes place, this is the information that hex tools is telling me is present inside of that particular file. Now once the converted file has been saved to my desktop, all I have to do is run hashcap to decrypt that PMKID hash information for that passphrase. So I've typed in hashcat space dash M16800 space dash A3 space dash W3 space handshakes.pmkid. In this example, we're going to be using a brute force attack. So I'm using hashcat and I'm telling it how much power to apply to this particular attempt. Now this back here is a custom string and it tells the hashcat how to look for the characters. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Hashcat is starting. Now if I would like to check the status to look at the progress to see where Hashcat is actually at in this attempt to decrypt the PMKID file, I can just type in S. And it comes up and it gives me a status of what's going on behind the scenes. Now depending on the power of your host machine will determine how long that it's going to take and how much CPU power you're going to allocate for this decrypting process. Again, I can type in the letter S and we can check on the progress. And in conclusion, I just want to send out a special thank you to all of the developers over to Hashcat who discovered this vulnerability back in 2018.
And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about performing a PMKID clientless attack using BetterCap. Got any questions? Got any concerns? Don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.